Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. He's the edgy and emphatic gospel singer and pastor who wowed us with chart toppers like Love Him Like I Do yes. and Well Done. And now he's branching beyond the music and braced to flex his acting muscles in the new TV One movie, Sins of the Father. Take a look. See, you and I got a thing for the women. They got a thing for us. That's who we are. No sense in fighting. What are you talking about? Your young friend. Oh, Chevelle? Oh, no, no, we're, we're, you know, that's, that's my friend. That's, you know, she's cool. We're not dating. Boy, you ain't hitting that. You crazy. Wow, please welcome the one and only Dietrich Haddon. Hey. Yes, look at you. Sister, sister, sister. Sister, sister, sister. Yes, glasses. How are you? You look amazing. Wow, you look awesome. Y'all are fine in person, my friend. Thank you. Well, thank you. Bless the Lord. Amen. I love your whole outfit. And she was a shop, too. My gosh, my gosh. Well, let's I'm a fan, actually. A real big fan. Thank you. Of that voice. You didn't have to tell me, hey, let me tell you something. We can work together at any time. Come on now. Come on. Just speak it into existence. Do a little gospel number. How about it? That'd be dope. You're not scared of me. I love the Lord. Come on now. He's Come my on. homeboy. I've told people this many times. <laughs> right, right, right. So um, recently you sat down with D.L. Hughley and you talked about oh, the responsibility yeah. of the church and how it needs to progress. Let's take a look at that real quick. What did I say? Why would God need to be progressive? Like, why would the church need to be progressive? I don't know. God is already progressive. That's what I'm saying. I mean, he's the first and last, beginning and end. He's Alpha Omega. I mean, he's all Come that. I mean, so I don't see why. We say that because people are really religious and they get stuck. One thing about religion, once we do something, we locked in that and that is it. Hmm. So how have you been able to apply that to your life? What you have just said there? I just think if you be authentically uh, yourself, you will always be futuristic. You will always be, you will always connect with people. Uh, uh, especially if you call yourself really being a follower of Christ. Right. Because everything about Jesus was, was futuristic. He would prophesy about the future. Right. Yeah. Everything about God is already progressive. Before right. there was an iPhone, he said, I am the I am mm -hmm. that I, I, mm -hmm. I am. So, uh, so there's no need for us to try to force our way to be something. Just be ourselves and yeah. just walk mm -hmm. with God and you'll connect with everybody and yes. be progressive. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now, Dietrich, you have always been, uh, you've always kind of pushed the limit, you know, creatively, you know, Fashion wise, you know, this ain't mm. this ain't your average church outfit. Right. <laughs> well, they're wearing like, this stuff down. I mean, but you, you you got them lit though early on. Right, yeah. right. Okay, yeah. then you, you brought the fashion down to the, to the church. How do you do that and still stay true to, you know, I'm, I don't want to say true to God because just because you dress a certain way doesn't mean you can't be true to God. But right. how do you stay um, pushing the limit and being creative and still stay the course and the journey? I don't know. I'm just. I guess I'm just from Detroit. We've always been yeah. uh, ahead of the game. Out, right. Whether it be Motown, whether it be contemporary gospel music, and I, what people see as 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 traditional, you know, we just don't do it. We just we do we do us. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the culture in Detroit. It's always been that. I mean, mm -hmm. they were wearing gators. You know, yellow yeah. gators, yeah. Yeah. That's what we turquoise. Did. You know, that's right. so, I swear I was. We were I color blocking up. early. Exactly. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so I just do me, and and, and it, it works. It connects with people. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. and you're continuing to do you with a new movie, Sins of yes. the Father. That's yes. fantastic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. And you look, the, the, that looked great, what you were doing. Yeah. What attracted you to this role? What, what made you say, Ooh. I gotta say, yeah? Ooh, because that, that's kind of, it's from a true story. Okay. It really happened. Mm -hmm. And I just think that this was a great opportunity for me to do me. Uh, mm -hmm. I like to do unorthodox ministry. Right. I like to take risks and do things to go fishing to win souls. Yes. You know, and so I thought this would be a great opportunity to open up that conversation mm -hmm. about church hurt. You know, that's yeah. been the whole thing. Church right hurt. Now. I've been hurt at my church. Yeah. I ain't going back to church and yeah. things like that. So here's a way I can just really kind of put it in the, in the face of these uh Pe these wolves in sheep's clothing mm -hmm. that's mishandling people. Yes. I think people, a lot of people have been victims of bad leadership. And so <laughs> mm -hmm. here's a way I can kind of like say, hey y'all, look, this is where you can look at these traits. Right. This is where you would know that you don't need to go to that church. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, Cause everybody who's in the pulpit ain't right. Right. Ain't, it ain't all, everybody ain't right. But you know? speak, speaking of church, you know how people say, oh, I don't want to go to church because I've been hurt. What about people that still follow and worship through television, through the internet? What are your thoughts on that? Do you still feel like that's good enough or do you feel like they need to be in a church and have a church home? 
I, I believe people are people everywhere. You're going to run into bad people, whether in church or on the job mm -hmm. or, or anywhere. So I wouldn't say I'm not going to church because I've been hurt. We've all right. been victims of bad people, just right. somebody doing in something general. stupid. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't let, the, I wouldn't judge God for the things that people do. Yes. Right. So yes. you should keep your relationship with God maintained. So going to church is very important yeah. going to church. because uh, uh, serving God is about loving people. Okay. And you can't claim to love God, but you don't want to be connected to people. So church is a mm. great opportunity for you to be connected to people, love people, help people. It's great. Yeah, you know? yes. Yeah. New music for you, sir. Yes, yes. yes. Brand new single yes. called Open Door Season. Please go get it, download it. It's uh, available for pre-order now. Mm -hmm. And now I'm singing a song in the, sh in the movie called Come Through. That's available also for download. Mm -hmm. yeah. Open Door. Tell me, tell me about the title. Oh, it's Open Door Season. Yeah. I believe that this is a season for people that really are believers. Oh. God is opening supernatural doors for you. You know, mm -hmm. like this, it's a door open. It. You know, it's, Man, it's, let me it's, tell you. It's the season I'm in. The, the movie, uh, um, my friends, uh, Keith Neal at Swirl uh, Films, mm -hmm. they just, they call me out of the blue, man. I want you to do this movie. Yes. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, that's open door season for open me. Door you season. know what I'm saying? So uh, I believe this is a season for all of us. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, Dietrich. We love having you down to oh, the Oh, thank you, thank yes. you. I love we looking at y'all. Y'all just amazing. <laughs> and we love looking at your sweater and shoes. <laughs> yeah! As they sharp. Yes. Awesome, thank you so much. Make sure you check out the new movie, Sins of the Father, which premieres July 7th at 8 p.m. Eastern on TV One. Can we get up for DJ Hardy one more time? Thank you.